know this is hard, but I need to ask you some questions about what happened. He tied my hands. He said if I screamed, he'd kill me. No signs of forced entry. Doors and windows were locked. No DNA. Not a single neighbor saw or heard a thing. He brought a blindfold, but nothing to tie her with. Would a shoelace even hold her? You think Marie made up the attack? I'm pretty positive that it happened. Pretty positive or positive? They just kept asking me the same question. How come your story doesn't add up? I wanted to go home. I don't have a victim here. It's bogus. She made it up. We're on the scene of a violent attack. Police say a masked assailant broke in while the victim was sleeping. He said, you need to be more protective of yourself. Black mask, bindings, early morning attacks. I think he's done this before. Aurora, 18 months ago. Intruder, black mask, backpack, tied her out, took photos. To date, has not been caught. You see the pattern. There's a rape, new evidence, new leads, and then one by one, they dry up until he hits again. This one, they're figuring out on our own. What if he knows stations don't talk to each other as long as he only hits once in each town? You could have detectives from eight different departments investigating eight identical rapes with no clue. They're all chasing the same guy. Victims are all over the map, old, young, different races, so he doesn't have a type. Sure he does, women who live alone. This guy is out there, preying on the most vulnerable women he can find. Where is the outrage? This is not something people get over. This is something they carry with them forever. Even with people that you can trust, if the truth is inconvenient, they don't believe it.